Hey guys, so week two of this month's program, uh, what you guys are gonna find is that through the week we have a lot of higher skill movements in there. Um, a lot of sports specific skill movements as well. So we're gonna see med ball throw for height, med ball throw for distance, as well as on day three, um, a very high skill movement, split clean. Uh, and we're gonna be doing it on both sides, okay? Um, something to, uh, to think about in the, the split clean on day three. Uh, just be cognizant that uh, kids are gonna be a little bit tentative going into that position because it's new, it's unfamiliar. Um, so something to think about is just like the clean itself, right? Dropping down underneath a barbell or power clean, um, a short drop or a stunted drop where, where we're not really fully committed to getting underneath the barbell is gonna show itself uh, in the split clean in a different way than it does inside of the power clean or the squat clean, right? So we'll see people commit to the barbell, really fully drop underneath, um, give everything they have to getting underneath the bar in those traditional movements, whereas with the split clean, what you'll see is a shortened split. Um, so something to do inside of the unloaded work, the unloaded portion for that is find uh, a distance that's appropriate uh, receiving position for the, uh, for the split clean and mark the feet with chalk. Um, so you'd mark the toes. And then when practicing unloaded, you have them go from the start position, trying to recreate that same distance um, and hit that same distance, uh, landing with their toes where you mock, marked their feet in the appropriate distance. So you're utilizing uh, the ground kind of to, uh, to help them unloaded before moving into the workout. That should help um, with commitment to the, uh, to, the, to the split clean. Uh, through the week, like I said, you guys are seeing more high skill movement this week. Um, so make sure that you slow things down, uh, that you focus on the basics and the technique of the movement. Um, and yeah, that's week two. Um, something else you guys will see inside of the squat is post squat. It says accessory work. Start thinking about the faults of movement that your kids have. Um, some of them might have rounding in the upper back. Some of them might have the hips shooting up first. Uh, some of them might have, you know, muscular imbalances. Maybe they're more quad dominant than they are hamstring dominant or opposite away around. Uh, and program individually for them. So don't just blanket the accessory work and say everybody's going to be doing walking lunges or everybody's going to be doing uh, prowlers, prowler pushes. Um, make sure that it's individualized for the faults that they individually have um, so that in between sets or after their uh, working sets, they're individually getting better, okay? Um, some of my personal favorites, just to give you guys ideas right now, are uh, dumbbell Bulgarian tempo split squats with a uh, three to five second descent every repetition. That calls into a lot of uh, stabilization on the working leg, and it's a lot of time under tension. It's a great way with little weight to get a lot of, uh, a lot of workout. And then, as always, uh, RDLs or good mornings, a really good way to build the, uh, the posterior chain. Okay, have a great week, guys.